Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'll be showing you how to make the new fancy cross charm. And I'll show you what it looks like. In this one, I used white and navy blue. So you can see it's a little bit fancier looping than just making it go straight up and down and across. It has different parts where it's narrower, gets wider, and then moves back in again. Back in April, I had done a mini cross charm, and I will show you what it looked like. And since then, I have gotten a lot of requests to make a larger version, so that is why I came up with this. You're going to need either a rainbow loom or a monster tail to make this charm. So if you're using the rainbow loom, you want to have it set up so the pins are in line with one another and you'll be working with six pins in the shape of a rectangle. I'm going to be showing it on the monster tail today. And so again, I'm using the six pins in the shape of a rectangle. And for my rubber bands, I have white and purple. I have 36 of the white and 16 purple. So I'm going to start by placing a band from the bottom left over to the center right going to be white and I'm not going to twist and now I'm going to take a second white band and it's going from the center pin on the right to the top left again there's no twisting and now I want to take a purple rubber band and quadruple this on this center pin on the right so I'm going to just place it on my hook twist and put it back on twist put it back on twist and put it back on. Now if you find like your bands are really tight and you're having a hard time to do this, you can just triple this, but I like to quadruple it to give it more of a point. And now I'm going to place it right on that pin. It's going to be a little bit tough to get on, but hopefully if your bands are stretchy you won't have as much of a problem. And now I'm going to reach down through the purple bands, go through all of them, push back and I'm grabbing this top white band. It's going to come up through and I'm going to move it to this pin above. I'm going to go back down through, grab the bottom white and bring that up and move it to the pin below. Now I can just remove this purple band from there. I'm going to push that down and next I'm going to place two white bands one is going from the bottom, from the left to right, and the other one's going to go on the top pins from the left to the right. And now I want to remove this bottom layer. Do that from each of the sides and push down. And now I'm going to take the white bands that are on the ends. I'm going to take the inside part of them and move them to the pin above. So on the bottom here, I'm just going to grab the top part of that band and loop it over the middle pin. And then the same thing for the other side. And now for this upper band, I want to take the lower part and again loop that around. So it's going to make two squares over the pins. Do the same thing over here. And now I'll place three purple bands from the left to the right. They're just all going straight across. And now I'm going to remove this bottom layer and I need to do the top white square first because if you try to remove this bottom one, it's going to get tangled up and it's not going to work. So I need to do the reverse order of how I place them on. And now I can do the bottom. And push this down. Next, I'm going to place two white bands, one on the bottom and one on the top. Now I'm going to remove this bottom layer 
just going to be on the ends here since we didn't put any band in the middle. And now I want these white bands to actually move up. So I'll start at the bottom here, taking the one on the right and moving it up, and then the one on the left. And now I want the top white band to move down. This is going to allow me to loop that purple band and get it to go over all of these so I can narrow this. So now the purple can come off. And now I need to separate these white bands again. So this top one is going to move back up where it was. And now the bottom one can move back down. So it is a lot of back and forth with this, but this is what's allowing me to go from a wider to narrower or narrower to wider looping of the bands. Now I'm going to do another layer of white that's just going to be at the top and bottom. And then I'll loop the bottom layer. Push this down. And now I'm going to do this step where I make these squares starting at the bottom here. I'm going to pull this over the middle pin and now at the top this needs to come down and now I'm going to do three more purple that are going straight across And now again, when I remove this bottom layer, I have to do the top square first, and now the bottom. Push that down. And now another layer of white that's going just on the bottom and top. Now I'm going to remove the purple. Again, it's only going to be on the ends here, since we didn't place any band in the middle. And push down. And now these white bands need to move in again, so from the bottom and they're going up. Just be careful as you're moving them that they don't slip off of your hook. And then from the top it's coming down. Now I can remove this bottom purple band. And now the whites need to move back to their original positions. So the top one's got to move up. And I'll move the bottom one back down. And now I'm going to place two more white bands, one at the top and one at the bottom. Remove that bottom layer. And push down. So that's it for the bottom part of the cross. So now I want to take it off. So I'm going to take the right side and move it over to the left, just going straight across with both of these. And if you only have one hook, you can use that hook to remove this, but what I'm actually going to do is use a different hook that I'm going to use as a holding hook, just so it doesn't get too full on the hook that I'm using, but you can do it on just one hook. I'm going to take a different hook here. I'm going to reach down through these two top bands, get them on my hook, pull them off, but leave them on the hook part. 
hold them with my thumb, I'll reach down through and pick up the other two. And now I can just straighten this out. And I'm just going to put this aside for right now. And I'm ready to start uh, one arm of the cross. So this time I'm going to quadruple the band on my hook again. I have purple. So I'm wrapping it around so there are four loops. And this time I'm just going to show you a different method. What you can do to get it on this band is just take the white band, grab it on your hook, and then just slide this up. And now I'm going to place this band in the center here, from the left to the right, push that down. And now what I want to happen is I want this white band to stretch over all three of these pins on both of the sides. So I'll start on the right here, I'm just going to grab it and put it around that upper pin and then pull it down so it goes over the lower. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side here. Just want it to go around all three. It does get pretty tight, and if you're using the rainbow loom, it will be even tighter because those pins are stretched a little bit farther apart. But you should be okay doing that. And now I'm going to take another white band, I'm going to go across the bottom and then the top. Now I can remove this bottom layer of white. And push that down. Now I'm going to do a layer of purple, just on the bottom and the top again. And I'll remove this bottom layer of white. and push down. Now I'm going to make those squares again where I want the inside part of the band. I'm going to start at the bottom here. It's going to go over the pin above. And now at the top here it's going to come down below. And now I'm going to do three white bands that are going straight across. And now when I remove the bottom purple, remember you're going to do the top first. And now the bottom. Push that down. And now I'm going to place another white band on the top and bottom. I'm going to remove that bottom layer. It's only going to be from the ends. And now in order to get this middle band off, we're going to have to move these in. So starting with the bottom here, I'm just moving these bands up. And then taking the top ones down. And now I can take this bottom white and it's going to go over top of the two above it and push down. And now the last thing I want to do is take this upper layer here and get it back up above so we can separate these out. And now I'm ready to take this one arm off, so I'm going to take the bands and move them over to the left. I'm going to take my holding hook where I have the bottom part of the cross. I'm going to reach down through the top two, hold that in place, come down and pick up the bottom two, and I can just stretch this out. And now I'm going to place this aside again. 
So the next part I'm going to do is going to be the top of the cross. So again for this I'm going to quadruple a purple band. And now I'm going to take a white. I'm going to just slide it on. Get it in the middle there. And then I'm going to place this on the center pin. Going straight across. And now I want to spread out this white so it goes over both the top and the bottom pins. It's going to make like a triangle on both sides. And now I'm going to add white on the bottom and top. Now I can get the bottom to come off. Push down. And now I'm going to do a layer of purple, bottom and top. Remove the bottom white. And push that down. Now I'm going to move in the purple, making those squares. So hopefully once you do a couple of these, you'll get the pattern. It's not always exactly the same for the arms and the top and the bottom, but they're always similar. And now I need three white to go across. I want this top square to come off first. and push down. Now the ends are going to move in, so the bottom's going to move up. And the top can come down. And now we can loop the bottom white. And then finally, this top layer of the white has to go back. So it's going back up. And now I can remove this top section of the cross. So I need the bands to go over to the left. And this time I am going to use my hook that I've been working with. So I'm just going to start at the top, get them on my hook, get the next two, just kind of pull this down, get it straightened out. I'm just going to slide it back on my hook so it's out of the way. I have one more arm to do. It's going to be the same pattern as the other arm. So I'm going to quadruple the purple. Slide it onto a white. Going to put that white in the center. And now I'm going to stretch the sides out. definitely a little bit on the tight side and now I need the white to go at the top and bottom and now this can loop over those and now I'm going to do purple at the bottom and top Do the looping. Push this down. Now I'm making my squares. Oops. 
and from the top comes down. Now I can do the three white. And I can remove the purple. Push this down. And now I want another layer of white just on the ends, top and bottom. And I can loop these. And now I still have to get this middle one looped, so in order to do that, I have to move the bottom ones up. And the top ones will come down. I can loop the bottom. And now lastly, I need this top band to spread back out. So it's going to move back up. And I want the right side to go to the left. And now I'm going to take my hook, grabbing the top two, and then the next two. And I'll just straighten this out on my hook. And so now what I'm going to do is take two white bands and I'm going to put them together as if they were one band and I need to slide all four of these sections onto these bands. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is take a clip. So I have an S clip here and I'm just going to hook these two bands on the one end, put them together. Get them both through here. That's just going to prevent the pieces from sliding all the way through and then off the other end as I'm putting them on. And I'm going to grab this on my hook and I'm going to carefully slide this through. It is a little bit of a delicate process because you don't want to be getting stuck on parts that you don't need to be. So just very carefully get them to go through. Try not to get hung up on anything. And now I can take the next section and it helps if you have this curved part of your hook facing downward as you're pulling them through. Try not to get hung up on any of the other bands. And now I need to do my other one, so I'm going to switch hooks. If you've placed them all on the same hook, then you won't have to be switching at all. And now I'm going to continue to slide the next ones through. And then this last section. And now what I'm going to do is take the two bands that are through the clip and I'm going to slide them back on my hook. So now I have the one end and the other end of the band that's holding all these together. I can remove this clip. And then I'm going to take one more additional white band and I'm going to slide it through. It's going to go through all four of these bands and I need to get the other end back on. I'm sliding one end through the other to make a slip knot and then you want to pull that nice and tight so it's not going to come apart. And so now you need to just adjust your bands a little bit to get it more into that cross shape. So the arms need to come down.
and you are going to have this tag that's going to stick out. If you want, you can leave it like this for a loop to hang this somewhere, but really I would prefer to have a loop at the top than down here because it's not going to hang that well. So what I like to do is take this and hide it around inside of the circle here. So I'm just going to take my hook and go through the bands here at the bottom, grab this loop and pull it through. And now I'll just go to this other section again, just reaching through and then grab this loop through just to hide it. And then if it's still sticking out, you can go to the next section and pull it through there. I hope that everyone had a good time making their cross charm. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!